Hello! So I am back with another knitting DIY video, if you hadn't a guessed. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to jazz up this really simple cushion cover. Now, you may be wondering why I am talking about knitting in March. Now, hear me out, there's one thing that everyone's got on their minds, mindfulness. Now, everyone talks about meditation, you know, colouring books, and I've tried, I've tried to meditate and I've failed. And I just, I think knitting is really good for just zoning out, you know, forgetting about all your stresses and just concentrating on making something nice. So yeah, I think it's really relaxing and you can put a podcast on. I've watched five episodes of Girls, if that's your thing. And at the end, you have something you can actually use. So I'm gonna show you how to jazz up this cushion cover in a couple of hours. It's a really nice knitting and purling technique. So this is a double moss stitch and it produces this really nice textured checkerboard effect. I'll show you how to knit the front panel. The reason why we don't knit the whole cushion is because it ends up a little bit floppy and weird. So we're just gonna knit the front panel and join it to the cushion cover. So yeah, let's do this. So it's tutorial time. And the most important thing is that you use the correct needles and yarn, otherwise your panel won't be the right size. You will need some size 12 needles, a 100 gram ball of chunky yarn, a crochet hook, some scissors, plus a cushion cover. I'm using this one from H&M, which is 40 by 40 centimeters. So now it's time to cast on. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be referring to the needle in my left and my right hand for your reference. So first things first, it's time to make a slip knot, which forms the first stitch. Pop it onto the left-hand needle. Take your right-hand needle, push it upwards through the stitch and wrap the yarn around. There we go. Push the needle down through the first stitch and put the stitch that's formed onto the left-hand needle. So you're going to repeat this until you have 32 stitches. So take the yarn around, push the needle through and pop the stitch onto the left hand needle. Pop the needle in, take the yarn around, push the needle through and place the stitch onto the left hand needle. So now we've got four stitches. So I'm going to speed it up. And there you go, 32 stitches. So for row one, we're going to knit two stitches, purl two stitches, knit two stitches, purl two stitches. So this is similar to casting on, but instead you're going to place the stitch onto the right hand needle. So pop the needle in, take the yarn around, oops, push the needle through and place the stitch onto the right hand needle. So now we're going to purl two stitches. So we're going to be moving the yarn back and forth, back and forth. So to purl, we keep the yarn in front of us. Push the needle through downwards. Take the yarn around. Push the needle through and place the stitch onto the right hand needle. So take your yarn around. And yeah, that was a bit too quick for me. But I'm gonna show you the knit stitch again. So we're gonna take the yarn over again. So remember, back and forth. Pop the needle in, take the yarn around. There we go. Push the needle through and place the stitch onto the right hand needle. Pop the needle in, take the yarn around and yeah, you get the gist. We're gonna purl again. And there we go. So remember for this row, we're gonna knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. So I'm going to speed it up and you should finish the end of this row with purl two. It's time for row two and we're going to slip the first stitch. So this gives everything a nice neat edge. We're then going to knit one stitch and then purl two stitches. Knit two stitches, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a little bit slower here. And then we're gonna purl 
two stitches. So again, you repeat until the end of the row and you finish with purl two. So now we've got our first two rows and we're gonna reverse the stitch so that we get our checkerboard effect. So again, we slip the first stitch and then we're gonna purl the second stitch. Knit two. Take the yarn over and purl two. So let's speed it up and you'll finish the row with knit two. Do the same for row four and you're gonna keep repeating this pattern. So keep repeating rows one to four again and again. And after a while, you'll start to see the difference in stitches. So here I've knitted a few more rows and you'll see the difference between the knobbly purl stitches and the flatter knit stitches. So you'll know if you've made a mistake if it looks a bit wrong. So keep knitting until you've reached 40 rows. So once you think you've finished, you might want to have a little count and line it up with the cushion cover to check that you've got the right size. So now it's time to cast off. You start by knitting two stitches, then slipping the stitch on the right over the stitch on the left. So knit another stitch, then slip the right stitch over the left stitch. Again, knit another stitch and slip the right stitch over the left stitch. Repeat until you have one stitch left, then snip the yarn after about 15 centimeters or so and pull the yarn through so you have a knot. So now you've finished your panel. So use a crochet hook to weave in any loose ends and just tidy things up before you attach it to the cushion cover. So you're going to want to lay out your cushion cover, line it up with your knitted panel and then pin the corners so that you can distribute the sewing evenly. Grab your sewing needle plus some thread of the same colour and use a tiny running stitch to join the panels together. And voila, your cushion cover is now done and you can Instagram the hell out of it. I hope you've enjoyed this knitting tutorial. Let me know if you'd like to see anything else. I can do hats, scarves, jumpers, whatever. Also, please subscribe. It would make my day. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Thumbs up. All that jazz. And yeah, I'm going to put my previous videos here and here. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye! I can't believe this is somebody's house. Hey, welcome to my cooking <laughs> home. Oh my god, that's so good. Welcome to my cooking Wait, where does that come from? Oh my god, it's from um I don't is it Joanna Scammer? Yeah.